Hi everyone, Ashton Giza YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about ADHD. Um, so we have a guest tonight. Um, it's my son Kinnick. Say hi. Hi. And with his consent, um, we are going to talk about how he feels um, with his ADD at school. Um, so Kinnick, I'm going to ask you a couple questions and then you can answer, okay? When you're at school, take your hood off though. When you're at school and the teacher's talking, do you think about other things at home? Like what video game you're going to play, mm -hmm. what you're going to eat, and stuff like that? Why don't you tell everybody what you think about? I think about um, the game and then and then I keep, I just drift off with um, thinking about the game and then and then I finally snap out of it, and then I pay attention. So he kind of has episodes where he'll be in and out of listening. We can talk to him, and then he'll be listening to some things we say, and then other times he'll think about some other stuff. And I know that happens to a lot of us, but he struggles with it a lot. Now, Kinnick, when you, um, are, is it hard for you to sit still? Yes. Tell people a little bit what happens when you're sitting at your desk in school. When I'm sitting like this, my legs start getting tickly, and then I'm like, I have to move them and do this or something. And... What about yeah. your hands and stuff like that? Do you have to do anything to your hands? Um... Uh, just, or just your feet? This my feet. I don't do this or anything. But we had to do this because it's like this and this and stuff because at school we're learning this stuff and we had to do these and this. So I had to move my hand anyway. But yeah, it's not because of your ADHD is what you're saying. Uh -huh. So only your feet. And sometimes around. but sometimes I play with my my fingers. And act like the people when they're fighting and stuff. So sometimes when he's even at home with us, um, he has trouble sitting down when we're in the living room watching a movie or if we're sitting down and having dinner or anything like that. It's hard for him to sit still. Um, so what's the reason for why you can't st sit still? What's... What do you think the reason is that you can't st sit still for a long time? I don't know. Um, maybe my legs are not just used to it or something. You like, just feel like you don't have control? I don't know. Like, Do you think it has to do with your ADD? Um, I don't know that either. So he doesn't know the answers to those, but um, we've talked with his doctor about stuff and some symptoms of ADD is like fidgeting and you can't stop yourself from moving around. Um, other symptoms can be aggression, like anger issues, um, learning disabilities, and um, it can also just be like wandering off in your brain, like, like he was saying, having trouble concentrating. Um, so you always want to talk to your family physician if you're having any troubles like that, having troubles concentrating or what whatnot, and if it's interfering with um, your everyday living. Um, as far as if you're attending an elementary school, a uh, middle school, high school, or a college, because it it can affect um, you being able to learn and do good in your class, um, and. Sometimes people can mistake you having ADHD for, you know, being a bad child or a bad person when you're not. Um, so, um, we did have to put them on medication for a little while it, called Adderall, um, but it wasn't exactly Adderall. It was the generic form of it. So, Kinnick, one more question. How did you feel when you were on the medicine that we gave, that we had to give you from the doctor um, when 
what like what did you feel like when you had when you were on that medicine? I felt like I was gonna puke sometimes and uh, uh I don't remember the rest but I felt like I was gonna puke and stuff. Did it make you feel like good and be able to listen or did it make you feel like not yourself or I felt like I, I had to listen more like I I can um just concentrate more and stuff do you like the medicine no do you do you what would you say to other people if they were given um that kind of medication well first when you take it when you take it, um, you, it's hard to swallow because it's super small, and it tastes gross, and, uh... Would you tell people that they should take it? Uh-uh. Um, do you think people should take it for their concentration? Yeah. So, do you think it's worth taking it or not? Do you think it depends on the person? Depends? Yeah, do you think it it depends on what who the person is? Uh wait. Oh yeah. 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 I yeah, I kind of ag- agree with you, but so we're probably going to try some other kind of medications, but we're not sure yet. So uh that's how it goes. Thank you, Kinnick. Tell everyone bye. Bye. So that's that was the little interview with my son. Um, like I said, he had my cons- he um, gave me his consent to do this interview with him. Um, but I'm going to read you guys the definition of ADHD. So it's a chronic condition, including attention difficulty hyperactivity and impulses adhd often begins in childhood and can persist into adulthood it may contribute to low self-esteem troubled relationships and difficulty at school or work so that's the definition that i got online um about adhd and you know i kind of can suffer with it as well because i have i I, when I was younger, I definitely had what my son said, where I felt like I had to move. Um, uh, and then also with concentration, I had a lot of trouble with concentrating because I would be at school and I'd be thinking about what I want to eat when I get home or what cartoon I wanted to watch and stuff like that. But I noticed as I got older, this is just for me. Um, not for, I'm not speaking for anybody else, but as I got older, it got easier to concentrate and stuff like that. So it's different for everybody, but there's a little video on ADHD for you guys and a personal, um, on a personal level from me and my son. So, um, we just thought we'd touch that topic and I will be on with another life topic tomorrow. Thank you.